you might not believe me, but assembly language is actually really, really simple. In fact, is as simple as it gets, and it consists only of really basic operations. Only 13 kinds of assembly instructions cover 80 to 90% of what you will actually see while reversing. So, I think we can all agree that learning only 13 instructions isn't that hard, and actually is kind of trivial. And now let's learn your first assembly instruction. If you are on Windows like me, you're gonna need x64dbg. Download it via link in the description. Now open x64dbg folder, go to x64 and start x64dbg.exe. Then open calculator and in x64dbg open file attach and select our calculator. And voila! We attach to the process and we can do whatever we want with it. And we want to try assembling some instructions. So now calculator execution is probably paused in your debugger. Click on whatever line blue arrow points at, press spacebar and write at rax, 0x10 and press enter. Press escape, keep an eye on rax value in register window, press F7. And you can see that in my case, Rx value has changed to 10. This is because we have executed an addition instruction. So basically, we'll tell the CPU to add 10 to whatever value Rx holds and put the result back into Rx register. And in an unbelievable twist, you can also use this instruction to modify memory. So hit space once more and write this. Add q word ptr ss rsp 0x10 and press enter. Now keep an eye on top of the stack. Press F7 once more and you can see that this value is also changed, so we were able to modify its memory as well. Let's dissect this instructions structure. At first place is instructions mnemonic. Then go the arguments with instructions separated by comma. Usually there are no more than two arguments to x86 or x64 instruction. When using arithmetic instruction, the first argument is also a place where the result of instruction will be stored. So at rx10 is the equivalent of rx equals rx plus 10. And when it comes to our latest example, the first argument is Word PTR SS RSP. Let's start from the end. RSP in square brackets means that we want to use not value of RSP register, but the place in memory RSP points at. The SS bit is segment register. Basically, SS tells CPU that we are going to access stack. Qword PTR stands for pointer to a quadruple word. It means that CPU is referring to RSP as a pointer to 64-bit word. And for example, word PTR tells CPU to treat whatever comes next as a pointer to a 16-bit value. While you are still learning assembly, Intel Software Developer's Manual is one of your best friends. Among its 2000 pages is information about every instruction supported by x86 and x64 CPUs. Another great source is just googling for a particular assembly instruction. If you are still not sure what an assembly instruction does, just assemble it in a debugger and do a single step, like we did earlier. Also, lots of disassemblers and debuggers have built-in help on assembly instructions, so be sure to turn this thing on. 